another video, guys. We are literally minutes away from Polaris 2024 model reveal, and uh, now we're just rushing to this reveal. Really excited to see what they come up with for 2024. I've seen it, I've been on it, and I know how excited I am for it. So we're gonna uh, take you guys through this video behind the scenes. Every rider feels that familiar stir when winter takes hold. A longing to connect with everything you are and everything you've been waiting for. by November 30th this year, and all stocking sleds ship by December 15th. We know customers are skeptical given our recent history, and so we're really offering this to help drive a record snow check volume for the second year in a row, model year 24. I wanted to highlight again. 
case you missed it in the product video, we also have all new reversible scratchers that will come standard on all RMK models this year. It's a new hassle-free scratcher that eliminates the fail of backing up with your scratchers down and it increases cooling. I wanted to share this photo. Uh, this was taken up in Rozo in the shop in January and there's numerous development engineers crowded around. And this is a really messy photo. Uh, Cal sent it to me. This was never intended for a dealer show presentation, but honestly, when I talked to Cal after getting this, I got chills uh, because the story behind this um, and, and what they're working on, it's not intended to show you what we're working on, but it truly embodies just this innovation spirit that lives up in Rozo and lives on the snow team. And it's this passion to continuously redefine what's possible uh, and, and make great things. And so that's what gets me so excited about our future on snow. <laughs> All right, we're just walking in. I've actually, my voice is blown out. I've been sick for the last little while. I stayed a week at Disney and uh, I've just been not feeling so awesome, but bear with me guys. I'm gonna try and do my best. We're walking into the showroom floor here now. A couple of major points that we're gonna hit on today. The 325 track obviously is a huge one. Reversible ice scratchers. One of the biggest things that I'm most excited about you know, as a rider and even a customer of Polaris is the ship date guarantee. So if your sled does not ship by November 30th, 1500 bucks off your unit just to try and back that. Uh, Polaris is doing their best, man. And uh, you know, the last couple years have been tough, but let's go check out these awesome snowmobiles. We're gonna talk about the track. We're gonna talk about the scratchers <laughs> and uh, the colors are amazing. So we're gonna uh, just take it all in and you guys are gonna get behind the scenes look of the uh, dealer show here in uh, Florida. Chris kind of nailed the hammer on the head. Um, myself, I was also skeptical of the track. The first time that I seen it, I was like, oh, you know, not a fan of the 3H to begin with. But now we're going bigger than 3H. Uh, that all changed the first two minutes that I was off trail with it. So the, uh, the 325 actually does an amazing job of hooking the sled up. You know, typically a 146 or a 155 rider, uh, it threw me onto a 165 or the 325, and it was just putting power to the ground. Unlike that I've ever felt before. So um, I kind of took all of the negative thoughts that I had initially and just turned it into positives. And, and it was real seat of the pants feel. So, um, you know, like Chris was saying, it's not for everybody. Um, it's attraction mode, right? So you put snow tires on your car and you have a summer tire set, or if you're doing different types of dirt biking, you run a different tire for different conditions. Uh, for me, I ride like Western Canada where the snow is way steep the majority of the time. That's going to be my track pretty much all the way through until you know, in April. We're still going to have big team dogs in April. We've got good snow density and we have lots of traction in British Columbia. Uh, I think that that's where this track's really going to shine. Heavier than the 275. 
the gain of that though is the amount of traction that you gain by having that extra half an inch per lug. It really just helps put the power to the ground and it helps me feel really connected to the snow. Um, I notice it a lot in the deep snow where we have lots of good snow density, lots of traction. The sled just wants to get up on top and move forward. Um, you know, it's a great option. That being said, it's not for everyone. For the type of riding that I do, this is going to be the track that I choose. Uh, the flip side of that is the 275 is still well alive and it's an amazing track. Uh, you know, it's been tested and proven. It's been kind of like known to love this track. Um, you know, in the marginal snow conditions, I think this might be the ticket. Yeah, Alright guys, yeah. we're out here, we're on the showroom floor. We're standing next to one of my favorite sleds. You can notice that the colorway is actually fairly similar to my personal 9R from this year. That's not a coincidence. <laughs> I really love this colorway. So, I seen this early in the season, got my wrap made up, and uh, I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about the scratchers. Big talk right now about the scratchers. Um, they're reversible. so. They can come out of the rail, tip down. There's lots of tensile strength in the spring right there. And then also, if you forget that they're down and you reverse over them, they do go both directions. Uh, that's going to be really awesome for you know novice riders, for the mountain rider that uh, you know just is forgetful and doesn't remember to put the scratchers back up. You're going to save lots of money there. I think it's going to be good in a fleet scenario, you know, rental scenario. Uh, and it keeps the sled a lot cooler, especially if you're gonna be running that big 325 track. In addition to that, another big change that we're just starting to talk about now is that the Chaos and the Pro are sharing the same rail profile now. So we found some middle ground between the Pro rail profile, the Pro and the Chaos rail profile, and uh, they're sharing the same rail. It's gonna be 180 pounds sprint rate on the Chaos, 210 on the RMK. And then they've went to a different anti-stab kit. So you can see there's no rail tip protectors. It's got a bigger wheel and uh, it's just gonna allow for that track to, to stay a little bit farther away from the tip of the rail and just try and save you know, from a steering scenario. This is a really great idea now. I think it's awesome to find some middle ground between Pro and Chaos. Um, what am I gonna order? So behind me here, the Chaos 9R, 155, 325, almost that exact build spec right there is gonna be what I'll be snow checking. But this uh, 9R 146 Chaos is gonna be my air weapon of choice. Um, that leaves me with one more snowmobile to add to my stable. I'm gonna have to go with the Boost 155, 325. With the support of Polaris, I'm in the position where I can have the best of everything that they have to offer. One thing I'm super excited about this year as well is there's a new master cylinder and a lighter weight brake rotor. It's going to help cool the sled. There's, sorry, not the sled. One of the things I'm also super excited about this year is there's a new master cylinder and brake rotor, which has been, you know, some material taken out of it. So it's a little bit lighter. It's going to cool better. And you actually have to pull the lever uh, farther to actuate the brake. So uh, just a couple little small little hints that are just going to make the ride that much better. All right, that kind of wraps it up for, for me, guys. You guys have seen the sleds that I'm going to be snow checking. Part of the biggest picture of all of this here is the will ship guarantee. So if your snowmobile does not ship by November 30th, 2023, Claire's is going to take 1500 bucks off the sticker price, put it back in your pocket. And uh, that's just their way of standing behind their word of getting you guys out on the snow as early as possible next year. If you guys like this video, drop me a like, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.